Hello and welcome back to Weeds Art Weekly Vlog. Today we're going to look at something a little bit different. But first, today's artwork of the day. Where did I put it down at? You know what? Today's artwork is actually just going to be a photograph of me and a dog eating off of a plate. This is me and Chloe. Absolutely. Ooh, I might as well just do a shout out right now. This is me and Chloe on the day we went on a hike uh, at Mary's Peak uh, last August. It was August 6th. Maybe it was August 6th. That was one of those. But anyways, we went to the, what place was it called? Austinis. And we had spaghetti. And Chloe and I shared leftovers. Alright. Now we're going to jump right on into what else? Actually, what else is on a different channel? But, today we're going to look at a different kind of artwork. We're going to look at recycling artwork. That's right, I said recycling artwork. So back, back in college, I decided to decorate my books and my binders, and I decided to make my own things to carry my papers in. And this is one of them. I used a Fruity Pebbles cereal box, and then I used my Burger King labels. Uh, hot stuff inside as the border there and we got Doritos right here so this bag of Doritos was a dollar 29 back then today this bag would be 629 taco flavored we got taco seasoning packets there playing cards here Recycling things is nice. I like to use things. These are where the pockets are. I was going to put a couple more things right here, but I got lazy and just decided to use it like it is. And it worked. It worked during my college days. I had lots of things like this. So it always show up in the class, pulling out my recycling material for my backpack and people were like what the hell but it worked and i didn't have to spend extra money why waste what you can reuse for example this planter's peanut container this holds my quarters for example this bush beans Hold pens. This fresh cut beans holds my my sharpies, and my beanie weenies holds my smaller smaller pens and uh, and and my old A and W ice cream float mug back from the early two thousands actually maybe even the late nineties I think I've had these since the late nineties. I have three of them, actually. I use this one for my pens. My colored pens. And wait, there's more. We've got my, my hot, we've got my hot chocolate uh, container here. Stevens milk chocolate. This was actually amazing hot chocolate. I haven't seen it around in years, though. I don't know if I make hot chocolate or not, but I made great use out of this because we've got really long knives here. So it really works really well here. And don't forget the old mayonnaise jar here use these for my markers for my 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 uh writing board on the fridge old manny's container <clears throat> a 
Now you're going to think, what the hell are you going to reuse this for? Well, I tell you what, when I'm watching my YouTube videos and my neck is feeling sore or I'm just feeling so tired, we just want to rest our chin on this and I keep our hands like this and just enjoy the YouTube videos. But wait, this has a dual purpose. A dual purpose, you say? Yes, the lid acts as an armpit scratcher. It really works, actually. Not even gonna lie, because I, 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 deodorants give me the worst rashes, and I itch and itch and itch and itch. So when I don't work, I just don't wear deodorant at all, because it just makes me itch like a, yeah, exactly. So this, the edges of this, they help. They just scratch, scratch, and it just, it really, really works. And, and the best part is, I'm not cutting myself on this. I used to use the edge of knives and I've cut it all the time. Whole, whole, whole weird story. You probably weren't except, expecting that story today, so I will just, I'll just stop with that story. And put the lid back on my Cheeto printer things. Yes, I do wash the lids. Fear not. All right. A long time ago, someone gave me a pack of styrofoam bowls that I can't really use. So, I use them for soap. That's right. I, used to put, I have one in my bathroom, one in my kitchen sink, and it's for my hand soap. So I use those because I will not waste these bowls no matter what. Not microwave them because they'll melt. All right, we have a bucket of KFC here. Not quite. This bucket holds my popcorn. Ooh, I only have like six packs left. I need to stock up. I keep I keep my popcorn in here. Yes, I do rinse the bucket out really, really, really well before I reuse the buckets. Don't just reuse them for popcorn either. What I like to do is I can wear these as hats as well. I love wearing these as hats when I'm making silly videos for my other channel. Or or what I like to do at night when I want a night light. I take my old phone and I turn it turn it on flashlight, I put it in here, and it works great as a night light. Oh, I gotta keep it flat. This is my big phone. I usually keep my smaller phone in here. I don't have out here. And it works just great as a night light. It's like a lamp head. Lamp head. Turn the flashlight off. Back over here. Now we're gonna talk about cardboard necklaces. When I worked in retail, I would make a whole bunch of necklaces, not even going to lie. I would cut things out with scissors and make little necklaces like this, using 100% recycled shoelaces. That one called Avoid Heat. First thing with flavor. Ooh, we've got Ghirardelli squares, too. And we have the stuffed two and a half feet of cheese. All right. Ooh, and my most one of my most recent ones was from my last job, Sloth Pooper. It was a machine that gave out candy, and it was called Sloth Pooper. Hilarious. We got one from toilet paper called Six Mega Rolls. Keep in a cool, dry place. Oh, wait, hold on. Keep in a cool place. Ew, one of my favorite ones ever. This is my, one of my favorite ones ever. And it doubles as safety cardboard. Mm. Yeah, we've got tons and tons and tons of these. Got Reese's peanut butter cups one. Swedish fish. 
Ooh, let's wear a cookie around town. Ooh, another hilarious one. Microwave instructions. So when I'm walking around town and the wind barely even blows, it does this it does this all the time. So I'm thinking about adding beads to the necklace to keep to keep it from doing that. But that's that's the down the down side of these cardboard necklaces. Even this, the wind will blow this from the side and it'll get me like right here in the throat when I'm walking down the street and it'll just keep doing that. Sometimes I put tape on the back and tape it to my shirt like this so it doesn't move. Packaging tape will help as well. But I'm thinking about just adding some weight to the necklace by getting some beads or something, some heavy, heavy duty cheap beads. So th th those are my uh, cardboard necklace ideas. I do not want to waste cardboard, so I would spend a lot of my uh, time just making sign making these cardboard necklaces out of the cardboard that was getting thrown away anyways. <clears throat> All right. Now let's talk about this shirt for a second. This shirt is pretty awesome, and it's only like three bucks at Michael's, which is a great deal. It's uh, once in a while. Once in a while, I'll go to Goodwill to see if Goodwill is selling things uh, from other stores for far more, and I discovered that. This shirt that is two ninety nine at Michael's is being sold for eight ninety nine at Goodwill. It's ridiculous. I, I will never shop at Goodwill. Once in a while, I'll go in there for research purposes and entertainment purposes, just to get, just to be like, what the hell? But I will not shop there, and I will not donate there ever. I don't believe in that company at all. For many reasons. All right, we are going to look at my next reusable artworks. The mask. Halloween is right around the corner, and if you try, if you're being frugal and don't want to spend much money, just reuse your old shit bags. Now this 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 string needs to be tightened so the mask will fit right. But you get the idea. You can still breathe out of here. You can sort of see out of here, and it works wonders. And you can do that with sun chips, another Doritos bag, and even this one, the half mask one, the mask of Zorro, sort of, but in Reese's form. And don't forget the Epicitos one. Ah, oh, ruffles have ridges. We've got the ruffles mask as well. Ooh, I need to end this this video soon because I can't go past fifteen minutes. Wear this one. This one fits nice right now. And put the movie theater glasses up here. The punched out lunches from the movie theater, reusable for funny videos. Another little reusable item here. And we have the Cheetos mask. If I was ever going to be a wrestler, I would be this. I would be the Cheetos cane. That's right, Cheetos cane. All right, well, this has been a fun video. Oh, I have one more thing. You got a, de you got a couple decks of playing cards and some cheap Dollar Tree uh, tape. Make yourself your own wallets. Why spend 25 bucks on a wallet? You can spend two to four bucks on a wallet by using your own materials. Thank you so much for watching this. We'll see you next week on another episode.